great news is we are halfway through our week <laughs> and I feel like this is my first time sitting down all day. And I'm on the East Coast, so this means this is four o'clock and I have been going and going and going all day long. All right, guys, so let me see here. Who is on? Just one? All right, come on, come on, come on. Wait, wait. We've got a few. Mars, how are we, Marcy? You guys really do get the live workouts of seeing me from like a fresh spray tan. <laughs> I just got a fresh spray tan and it's so funny because I'm like, my Cormax family, you guys are going to see me from like the good days and then the dark, the spray tan days. I mean, it's so funny. So I want to tell you guys something. Okay, here's the deal. Let me do my catwalk. Okay. I'm going to do my catwalk. Hello, everybody. <laughs> All right, Crystal, I just got a spray tan and it's like fresh. So it's like blotchy and I'm all dark and everything. So bear with me, Marcy, you guys, I have had to shred. I've had to shred and the Core Max Pro is part of my shred program. So guys, I am excited that we get this workout in together. We're going to get a great workout. You're going to feel good. But this is the thing. We are just getting started. This is 2022, just January. We've got 11 months to go. So I need you guys to stay in the game with me. Keep raising the bar. This is where we are. I said this this morning in my other classes. We are here. We need to keep raising the bar for the next 11 months. Give me that fist pump, give me that high five, and let's go, guys, all right? Let's do this. All right, so Susan and Crystal and Marcy, here we go. It's gonna wash off tomorrow a lot, but here's my, this is the fresh, fresh spray tan. All right, guys, my name's Carrie Wademan. I want the Cormax families trainers and lovers of fitness and lovers of the Cormax Pro, the Ab Squat, the Core 15, all their products, their belly bands, and even their backrest. So the backrest, yes. I keep plugging this because it's made a difference. You can go on to Star Uno Wellness and just grab this, <laughs> grab it, and use it with your Cormax Pro when you're just really focused on sit-ups, which by the way, we should be focusing on even just a core class. All right, but let's start with our cardio and let's go. I'm gonna get my chair. We've got our chair, everybody. Let's bring this up. And I'm gonna talk to you all about how to shred because that's been my theme because I've had to shred. I have a photo shoot tomorrow. And of course, um, Mariella, Mariella, hello. All right, guys, so let's do this. 30 minutes on the clock. I'm all pumped up and I'm gonna put this on. So now what I want you guys to do is make sure your legs are at the level that you need. So I'm gonna sit in the back of my chair and show you guys. If I put my feet up on the highest, that's way too high for me. So I'm five seven, I'm gonna lower it down just one and then place my feet back up. And I do know my knees are up a little higher, but when I press down, guess what? My knee goes right below my belly button and that's where I want it to press. So now we're gonna pedal everybody. Stay, stay with me on the pedaling and we're gonna take three deep breaths. Now, Susan, I want you to take such a deep breath so your lung has to expand and then come back in as if we're at the hospital and the hospital saying, you can't leave this hospital until you get that breathing down because that's what they do all the time when a lot of us who get sick from time to time, you've got to really pass a breathing test. So you never want these lungs not to have a deep breath every single day. So let's do it together, everybody. Breathe all the way in and up, Marcy. Exhale out. Ready, give me another. Ready, breathe in. Exhale out. Ready, breathe in. And exhale out. Now, when you really breathe in deeply, don't get, uh, go over five, all right? Because then you can hyperventilate. But that's really that was designed for us to get our lungs to expand so they get stronger, and that way we can push our pace in approximately 10 seconds. So we're pedaling for the first three minutes of our workout. Then we're going to go right into core, get back to pedaling, go to upper body, so you guys stay with me on this. This is a class that we just flow and go. We just go for it. Faster, everybody, with your pedaling. Faster. So I'm going to give you about a minute 15 of pedaling faster. <laughs> and smile big for me right now. Let's go, guys. All right, so I'm getting all pumped up because I want to share with you guys. Last week, 
you saw me and I had, you know, fun with you all and I love to exercise. But keeping life real, when the winter hits and when it hits me and it's cold and it's dark, I can sink into a little seasonal affective disorder. And I think of many of us, raise your hands, I can't see your hand, but raise your hand if that happens to you. It's so common on the East Coast. It's over 90%. For many, it happens in February and sometimes March. You have 20 more seconds, everybody. Bring it on. Go a little faster. 20, 20 seconds left. Let's bring it on. Pedal, pedal. For me, it happened last week. I have no idea why. And I'm happy because it's typically about a week of my life. <laughs> and I did. I watched Yellowstone. Everybody, give me a little fist pump for Yellowstone. I mean, Yellowstone was amazing. Amazing. All right. Three, two, one one and great job. All right. So now we're going to go into our core. Now, if you don't have your backrest, just go hop down and bring your arms all the way to the top. So now I will put this part of my backrest in my core max, take my straps. It'll take me a second to get this on guys, but I want to put it on for you all. Okay. So I'm going to put it right there. It's just Velcro. That's all it is. And, uh, <laughs> and if you haven't seen Yellowstone, it's on Netflix, it's on Peacock, but that is your homework. <laughs> I'm giving you guys homework, all right? Imagine if I was a real teacher, <laughs> I'd be I'd be fired because I'd be saying, okay, everybody <laughs> in the classroom, you need to go home and watch Yellowstone tonight. All right, so ready, guys? We're going to sit down and let's do it. So that took us about 45 seconds. So let's bring our arms down. All right, I mean, all the way up, all the way up, okay? And let me flip the phone down so you can, guys can see my spray tan. Just found your videos on YouTube. Aw, yay, Lindsay, awesome. All right, Barbara, let's go. Thomas, let's go. So now, guys, let's do our sit-up now. I want you guys to just do a standard sit-up with me all the way. So the arms are at the highest part. The arms are at the highest uh, level, not part, excuse me. And we're just going to kind of warm up our core. Warming up our core, okay? And hi. Linda or Linda, I'm going to look closer. Vision can't get there. But what we're talking about right now is last week I had the seasonal affective disorder, which means, guys, I just was kind of just blah. It was like a blah, blah week. And then I watched Yellowstone, and Yellowstone was like, you know, a great distraction for me. And that was about 10 p.m. to 2 a.m. Now, everybody, I work full time. I work a lot of hours a week, a lot of hours in the day. So it's not that I didn't work. My energy was different. And when your energy is different, guess what happens? Ooh, it takes a nose dive. And then all of a sudden, guess what? You're not into making good choices. And do I want you guys making good choices? Yes. Do I want you staying on track? Yes. Do I want you feeling your best? Yes. And the answer is why, why, why not? That's my answer for you all. I'm looking out for you and I want you to look out for me. Now you've got five seconds, then the arms go back one level. One level, everybody, all right? Three, two, one, and great job. All right, so I'm also, I just got a fresh spray tan for anybody who's just joining. So that's why I look really, really uh, tan. I don't even know what to call it, to be honest. All right, so anyway, so I have your giggles. I have thick skin. <laughs> I've got very thick skin. Um, but anyway, why I share this is because I think it's important for people to be vulnerable about just what goes on during seasons during the new year and as a fitness and health expert um i can tell you i have always been very very um fortunate that this is my disposition i love doing this i love love helping you i wake up every morning and i pop out of bed and i can't wait to create content i can't wait to work out with you i can't wait to sweat with you and it's really, really so much fun for me. So that's the thing. I found my 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 whole entire mojo by doing this. Now, ready, guys? We're going to go one level lower. All right, so this is our third minute, third minute. Here we go. One level lower. We're at the lowest level now. Do you guys want to see the side profile here? You may, may want to. So I'm going to show you my side profile so you can see how far I'm going back here. And this is just part of our workout. It's a total body workout. All right, guys, ready? All the way. Oof. And up. now I've got to sit all the way up. But what we do is when we're, we're not going all the way down where that lower back may have to trigger and we don't want that. What we want is the entire core to work and collaborate together. 
I want it to feel stronger. I don't want to feel, I don't want your back to feel as if it's getting tweaked. And the, the, the funny thing is I use the CoreMax Pro, this baby with all my clients and a lot of my clients have back issues because their core is very weak. And I always get them on the CoreMax Pro and they're like, whoa, my back doesn't feel anything. I'm like, shocker. Of course it doesn't. Of course it doesn't. So get ready, everybody. Three, two, one, and bring it up. All right, let me bring, take the backrest off. Let's go back to our cardio, okay? Great job, guys. All right, so we've done three minutes of cardio, three and a half minutes, really. We did three minutes of, um, of our core. Now we're going to get into our resistance. So I'll take my backrest off. Again, it's just Velcro. And uh, got that, okay. And then it's just like that. That's what it is. StarUnoWellness.com. That is the website, everybody, for CoreMax. So if you're looking for, say, another CoreMax, oh man, this is interesting, guys. Here we go. You're gonna see me actually add on my uh, my one resistance band. There you go. It's just then you just dial it in, and that's how it gets on there. That's how that's how I put on my resistance band right there. If I can do it, anybody can do it. <laughs> Let me tell you something. I was definitely not supposed to go and be an engineer of any sorts. <laughs> and all right, so we're back to our cardio. Lift your legs up. I'm at level two, the second level. That's where I am, five seven. If you're around five three ish, you want to be around up the up the legs up higher. If you're taller than me, then maybe lower. But cardio, everybody, let's do it. So once again, sitting in the back of the chair. Once again, use the arms. I mean, use your arms and put your arms on the side. Hi guys. Welcome. All right, so it's Wednesday, and guess what day it is? It's January 26. So here we are, one month down of winter, two more months left. Yes, major, major, everybody. Fist pump. I've got to just put it out there. This is my least favorite season, um, mainly because I just I don't enjoy cold, unless I'm doing an activity outside, which is not easy to do right now. Um, so I just got out of saying last week, I've, I got a little bit of that seasonal affective disorder. Um, I watched Yellowstone. I, I love Beth Dalton. You guys, you have to see Yellowstone. I mean, I loved it. Loved it. Highly recommend it. Um, my choices for eating. I did rather well, but I'm also doing a, a no sugar challenge of eating less than 20 grams of sugar every day. And I did not do well. Um, really, I just didn't do well. Maybe like Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. And I think I cheated a little bit on Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday, which means, everybody, a seven day of not really following what I wanted to really do. I did great the first two weeks of January. Last week was not that great. Now I'm getting to the point because it's been a long 10 minutes of me getting to the point. So now all of a sudden I have a photo shoot tomorrow and I had to really buckle it in. So I did. I drank a lot of water Monday. I was drinking so much water on Monday that everybody, I wasn't able to eat. And that's why I always say you've got to hydrate. I still had a little bit in the morning, hard boiled egg and some blueberries, fresh blueberries. At lunch, I had a piece of chicken and I think I had steamed, uh, steamed um, string beans. And for dinner, I had chicken again and a salad. Yesterday, last night I had salmon. And then I had hard-boiled egg, um, a, a cucumbers, peppers, apple, blueberries for lunch. And in the morning, I actually had a bar. I said I wasn't going to do a bar. I did it because I ran out of time. One more minute, everybody. One more minute. Today, again, I had a bar because I just, I've run out of time, everybody. And you've got to eat. Remember, I'm not your person who's going to sit there and say, you know, I need you to do intermittent fasting. I'm not. See, when it comes down to me and you, we are all wired differently. That's the reason why one shoe does not fit all and that not one diet out there is going to fit everybody. StartInnoWellness.com has great recipes on there. By all means, go on to it. You want to find recipes that are low fat, yes, low carb, um, healthy whole foods and cook it. That's what you're looking for. I'm not into the going into the box, putting it in this microwave or whatever. You got to cook. You got to make the food, all right? You've got 12 seconds, everybody. Then we're working the resistance bands, okay? So get ready, get ready. You've got eight seconds. Let's pitter-patter a little faster. Come on. Bring it home with me, guys. Bring it home. Come on. Five, four, three, two, and one. So great job. So in the last three days, 
I've been able to get this stomach of mine, which was extremely, guys, it was like, woof. <laughs> uh, it was unbelievable what I, what I can do to myself in seven days. And I think we all can do that. Um, now, I've always had to watch my weight, just so you guys know. I've been an athlete. I've been into fitness my entire life. All right, so now you've got five seconds. You're going to go with five biceps, bend your knees, curl your hips in, and bring it up. Five, four, three, two, and one. Now, just four seconds rest. Now, you're going to give me ten biceps. Get ready. In three, two, one, let's go. So, one, and two, all the way up. Three, come on. Four, here's five. Here's six. Yep, you can do it. Seven. Here's eight. Here's nine. Here's ten. Great job. Now, you got four seconds. Now we go 15 reps and then we're done. Ready? And three. Bend your knees, pelvic tilt. Two. And let's go. So one. And two. And three. And four. Woo! Ten more, guys. Ten. Here we go. Nine. Eight. Squeeze it up. Seven. Squeeze it up. Six. Let's do it. Five. Yes. Breathe. Here we go. Three. And two. And one, love, love, love. All right, let's get to the back to offset your biceps. So first, cross the band, cross the bands, all right? Take one foot off. Now, I want you to lean over, and if it's too easy for you to pull your elbows back, then I want you to grab below like I'm doing. You can always adjust your bands, but I like having them looser. All right, so give me five rows. So three, two, one, let's go. Hinge over slightly at your hip, get your butt back, drop your chest slightly, doesn't mean you're rounding your shoulders. All right, four, and five, take four seconds rest, that's it. Just four seconds, then we go to 10 reps. Three, two, one, let's go guys, ready? And pull, one, and two, yes. Three, everybody, come on, four. Here's five more, you've got it. Five, and four, three, two, and one. Great job, okay, so now we've got 15 reps, 15 reps, you can do it guys. So we're just building and building and building. Ready, set, and go. So pull one, and two, and three, yep. And four, you've got it. Five, whew, six, here's seven, here's eight, here's nine, here's ten. Guide me five more. Ready? Five, four, three, two, and one. Great job. Okay, so you just do your back. Now let's get our shoulders. We're going to go with front raises. So let me show you guys how I will do this on a side, on a side profile, okay? So let me get my back rest. Oops. There we go. Okay. So you're in this position, and... I want you guys to see where I bend my knees and then guess what? Boop, you gotta pop, pop that pelvic tilt in, got it? So, hi guys, how are you? I love seeing it, hello! Zira, how are you guys? I love it, love it, love it guys, all right, ready? We're doing our front shoulder raises now. Now, see where I am? So pop it in, bring your belly in, and lift. One, two, three, four, and five. All right, so time, four, three, Two, 10 reps, Mars, ready, set, go. One, yes. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. Great job. Now we've got 15 reps. 15 reps, guys. You ready? Get ready, get ready. In four, in three, in two. Let's do it. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Here's five, here's four, here's three, here's two, here's one. Well done. All right, so you got the front of the shoulder. Now let's go to the back of the shoulder and the back of the arms. You got it? So what we're going to do, I want you guys to see this. I want you to see this, okay? So now you're going to lean over. Let me take this over here. All right, you ready? So you're going to lean over, arms are back. Now we lift it up for five. Ready? Let's go. So five, four, three, two. And one, great job, all right? So now, so you can see where my foot is. Here it is, ready? Three, two, one, let's go. So 10, nine, eight, seven, belly's tight, right? Six, here's five, belly's tight. You got this in two and one, great job. Now guys, you only have four seconds and then we've got 15 more reps, ready? In three, in two, in one, let's go. So one and two, here's three, here's four, Five and six, seven and eight, nine and ten. Here's five, here's four, here's three, here's two, here's one. All right, so we went for the front shoulder, the back of the shoulder. Now we've got to go with the side, everybody, okay? So now I'm coming right back to the center facing you. 
and I want you all to face me, okay? So here we are. All right. So guess where I'm at now? So this week, we're eating well. Um, I'm hydrating, exercising, feeling great, not watching TV. Ready? Three, two, one, lift and go. Five, four, three, two, and one. Great job. You have four seconds, then we do 10, everybody. So you can always get back on track. Ready, begin. So one and two and three, long neck, four, five and six and seven and eight and nine and 10. And guess what? And surround yourself with people who are just like you, which means we are just like each other. So that's why we show up every week for each other, right? Yes, Carrie. Yes. 15. Let's go. One. Here you go. Two, three. Here's four. Here's five. 10 more. So 10 and nine and eight. Woo. Yes. We feel this sculpting these muscles, work these muscles guys Four. here's three, here's two and one really nice job. So we're going back to our cardio, back to our cardio. Here we go. Three minutes on our cardio, which will break us into the 20 minutes. Now, remember you can bring your arms up medium or low, depending on your height, sit in the back of that chair. You have five seconds. We're going for three minutes. And then I'll get back into how do we key stay on track? So the reason why we want to stay on track is the fact that no one else is going to do it for you. The more you realize that you are in charge of you and that you've got to make sure that you plan out your workouts, you think about how are you going to move this week? And you also think about what foods you're going to put in your body. So uh, Marcy asked me about like, how do I shred? So I, I do buy a lot of foods that have water in it. For instance, when I say no sugar, I'm not talking about fruit necessarily um, because it's about me getting the vitamins, the nutrients from the minerals from fruit. So right now, of course, like, do I like to have an orange? I do. I do have an orange probably every other day. Do I like to have everybody we're approaching one minute down, two more minutes. Let's go a little faster. Let's go a little faster. Do I like to have my apple? Yes, I do. I have half at lunch right now and I have half at night. So I break my apple up because I don't need it all at once. It does have a lot of sugar, oranges and apples. So I break them up half, at, half during the day, the other half at night, and that's my dessert. Um, when it comes to protein, I want low fat protein right now, low fat. So tuna fish, um, eggs, I would say is fine. Um, fish, chicken, that's really what I'm going to stick to. The red meat, there is some out there that is lower fat, but you also have to think about the saturated fat too. And that stuff also is where you want to keep it under three grams of saturated fat. Um, what else do I do? I really don't snack. When I'm really looking at what I need to do, it's the snacking that kills us. Right guys? Yeah, it is. So it's more or less just really preparing the food that you should have in your home, in the refrigerator, and making sure that you are going to turn to that versus the easy stuff that is not that great for us and doesn't help us next week, next month, next year. It just doesn't help us. So I'm, I'm really, I am disciplined and you have one bad week and that was last week for me. But I don't like how I feel. And I really, I, when I say how I feel, I'm like, wow. You know, you feel really bloated. You're foggy. You're just not as clear. You're not functioning at a higher level. And my goal for both of us, all of us, is to function at a higher level. Exercise is going to help you do that. It's going to give you your mojo because the more energy we put out, like we're doing right now, the more energy we get back in. Excellent job. That's three minutes, everybody. Great job. So now we're going down. We're going to turn. We're going to turn our Cormax Pro, okay? And I'm going to tilt this down a little bit. Chris. Hi, Chris. How are we doing? Crazy, guys. I haven't done your class from 2021 because I was in, oh, geez, I hope you're feeling better, everybody. So, I, you know, we've all had journeys that have been operations. We've had so many different health journeys. And a lot of folks... 
you know, whew, I've had to overcome a lot. But our bodies are machines. Our bodies are machines. And our bodies are going to tell us, all right, when we're not doing well. And then you'll get checked and see what's happening. It's also going to, it's also going to bounce back. And I have a great success story for you guys today. Knees are on the pads. Let's bring our hands under our shoulders. And we're going to cross our feet. Now you're going to bring your body down and you're going to pump one and two, 30 seconds, one and two, everybody, one and two. I'm not rounding my back. I'm not rounding my shoulders down and down. My elbows are straight. All right. So I'm getting to the back of my arms, front of my arms, shoulders, back and chest, belly's nice and tight and go up and down, up and down. <laughs> I will always say it feels like I am like washing somebody's clothes. <laughs> All right. Keep going. Eight more seconds. Come on now. Come on. All right, five and four and three and two and one. You get 10 seconds rest and that's it. And then we go again. Uh-huh. And we have four rounds total. Four rounds total. All right, five seconds in three, two, one. Let's go. So down up one, down up two, three, everybody. Four, five and six, seven and eight, nine and 10. So my mother who has had hip surgery, it's exactly three weeks ago. My mom is, I'll tell you guys, cause she's not on here and she'll never know that I told you. So I don't feel like she's gonna be upset with me. My mom is 79 years old and my mom is very energetic, <laughs> super energetic. Okay, one and two. So when I'm around my mom, she gives me energy. You know, everybody, life is all about energy. You have, you have things that you do that bring you so much energy, okay? Then there's things that are energy neutral that, you know what? It's good. It's just neutral. It's good, Susan, right? It's just, new. it's good. Then there's energy drainers or draining things that just drain you. And that is your choice. That's where you get to make that choice about keeping it. If it was temporary, that's fine. But if it's all the time, then you really need to channel yourself and say, uh-uh, I can't do that. I can't be around that, okay? And that's just something for you guys to think about for 2022. So ready? You have four, you have three, you have two, you have one. Great job. All right, one more round, one more round. So when it comes to energy, I'm very sensitive, very sensitive to it. So I love being around my mom because her energy is amazing, ready? And here I am, mom, it's been a couple days after her hip surgery, she's up and at them. But one week later, she was outside walking, 79 years old. She goes, Carrie, nothing's gonna stop me. I'm not ready, I'm not ready. I, want, I'm, I feel strong, I wanna travel still, I wanna go out there, I wanna do it all. And I love, love, love my mom's attitude. So, you know guys, if my mom at 79 can go get hip surgery, and now it's week three right now, ready, set, and time, great job. All right, now we're gonna work the back of our arms, okay? So I'm gonna turn a little bit more so you guys can see me right there. We're also gonna use our bands. So we're gonna swap in between. So bring your bands to the side, okay? And then there we go. All right, so now this is reality. The back of our arms are probably one of the weakest areas, the tricep right there. So if you need to drop your arms down lower to start, go for it. I'm gonna stay here and then I'll probably drop it down lower so you guys can join me if you want, all right? So ready, 30 second set. Both arms, same time. Sit upright and let's do it. So one, two, three. You guys are so funny. Aw, I can't see what you're saying, but thank you. Thank you and thank you. Here we go. 15 seconds, 15 seconds. Breathe in and out, everybody. Breathe in and out. Oh, this is tough. This is tough. I may have to drop it down the next one, but I'm going to go to the end of this one. This is 30 seconds. All right, here we go. Five, ah, four, three, two, and one. Really nice job. Let's drop the arms though. Let's get that puppet down, all right? So here we go. Oh, thank you so much. I love it. Thank you. I love the feedback. All right, so we've got five seconds and then we're gonna go round two. Both arms at the same time, elbows back and let's go. Sit upright, one, two, three, and four. See, I'm not rounding my shoulders. Chest is high. I have my stomach pulling in. This is 30 seconds. And we have approximately two more after this one. Come on, get the back of those arms. Um, so going back to energy, it's like when I say, you know, stay positive, all right? What I really mean by that is when you're having to work through any kind of 
just differences in your life. Ready? And go. And I'm going to be honest with you guys. We have two more rounds. I was working things out in my brain last week. So it took a lot of energy out of me. Ready? Set and go. And sometimes you need that. Sometimes you need that, guys. I, I'm a big, big advocate on taking time that you need to figure out some things for your life. You've got one life. It's a, you came into this world by yourself. You're going to leave it by yourself. Yes, we have family. Yes, we have people and friends and family that we love. But you still have to figure things out for you. And it takes time sometimes. Sometimes it takes longer than you want. But you'll come to it. Just keep channeling your energy towards it. So three, two, one, and great job. Oh my gosh, one more round. <laughs> one more round, everybody. Oh, geez, Louise. One more round, all right? Ready? Get set, and let's go. So down and down, down and down. Um, so I'm there now, and I'm taking a course right now. I'm taking a, a great course that's all about just, you know, me leveling up, me going for more, and figuring out how I can, you know, make myself better better in the ways that I don't want to use excuses anymore. We all have things that we don't want to do, right? Yeah, that's the truth. All right, everybody, eight, seven, six, like finishing this one up, four, three, two, and one. Great job, everybody. All right, bring your backrest right back on there. We're gonna do one last core exercise and, uh, and then we're gonna be finished. But leveling up is really about you saying, you know, where should I be putting some energy towards? Uh, especially if you know that you have, you know, more to give. All right. If you've got, if you've got that, you know, attitude of more to give, like, where do I want to put my energy? And you know it, you know, you want to go somewhere with your energy. Don't let that go. You know, the world needs that. The world, I need that. We all need that. So don't let that stuff go. That's called mojo, mojo, baby, mojo. <laughs> um, all right, so let's bring that all the way down to the lowest level and let's bring the legs in. So come in and one, yep. And two, there you go. And three and four. So I look to constantly learn, but I will tell you, I need to make time for it. I need to make time for it. How do I make time for it? I have to carve it out. I have to plan it. I have to say, okay, I'll do it at this point in my day, and that's it. No excuses, guys. It doesn't get us anywhere. But change is going to happen whether you like it or not. You're going to stay young, and you're going to stay young at heart by putting energy into your body that feels phenomenal. That's your exercise classes. That's eating and drinking awesome, getting proper rest, and also expanding your mind and taking some courses that you want to take that can help you feel like, all right, that's great that I now know that. You may not use it. You don't always have to have the purpose to use it, but just to have it in that mind is good. It's good stuff, guys. So everything that we accomplished today was awesome. And I wanna say thank you so much. This is a very unique experience for me, being able to have all of you become my virtual friends and my fitness family, and I love it. If you ever want to reach out to me, feel free. My Facebook is Carrie Whiteman Fitness. My Instagram is Carrie Whiteman Workouts. I'm here to help support you and Cormax Pro. So everybody just know that that's where my heart is. So let's do it. Let's have a great rest of the week. Continue on your fitness journey, and I will see you all next week, okay? Have a great one. Bye-bye.